energetic. Oh, that was that's an easy good. one. Energetic. <laughs> You'll never that. catch him. You'll never catch him off his game. Energetic. Well, I'll say um, passionate uh, about basketball, and you could just see it every night. Every night when he plays, like no matter, uh, you know, sometimes he's gonna not, you know, get all the shots going in, but he's just he's gonna go right back on defense and get those stops and just. golf. Uh, I've been a, a golfer longer than I probably play basketball. Um, yeah, I'm a pretty good golfer. Football. Uh, soccer. <laughs> I mean, it's one of my proudest achievements in my life so far, I think, and it's the greatest time to just go out there and showcase my talent, and I really enjoy the World Cup. It's one of the one of the reasons why I chose UBC, to be honest. Is Phil as good at soccer as he thinks he is? He's pretty damn good. <laughs> <laughs> he got that German blood in him, so he's he's pretty, yeah, he, I'll give it to him. He's lived up to his expectations. <laughs> he's definitely good. I've seen him go through the whole other team's defensive score, so I don't know, I'm pretty sure that's not how soccer works. Uh, me and Phil went to a Whitecaps game one time, and he would never stop saying about how bad they were, so. <laughs> Confidently, confidence-wise, I think easily he could play on a professional soccer team, but maybe maybe his role might be like kind of a water boy or something. <laughs> I should have thought about this before. Uh, hey Luca, congratulations on a great career, but I've been waiting three years to say this. Wrong sport, buddy. Hey, congrats, Luca. Great job. I mean, you've had a pretty decent career. I would have rather seen you out here on the ice with the boys. I think you would have made a great hockey player, but hey, we all make mistakes. Good job. Luca, what are you doing playing basketball? You're strong. You got quick feet. You could have been an amazing hammer thrower. Congratulations on your senior year here, and uh, if you want to come out and see how far you can chuck a ball and chain, we'd love to have you. With your size, you're wasting your time in basketball. You can hit the ball out of the park at first base, you can catch any throw. You need to be playing baseball, man. Yeah, man. Nah. I'm probably just going to go with Enormous because sometimes. And I want to say Ribbon because he used to be enormous and now he's even more enormous because he's in shape and he can actually hit you and run down the floor and hit you again. It's his own route. Offensive rebound and converts. Yep, those are facts. Um, I don't know the exact weight it was. It's it's over there. It was like what? Yeah, it was like 18 and a half, some pounds or whatever. Yeah, I don't know how my mom did it. <laughs> have you ever eaten at Luca's house? Yes, I have. Yeah. What's that like? Um, it's a lot of food. <laughs> As you can probably tell, but it, he is a great family, honestly. It reminds me of my family a lot. Um, puts both Eastern and European backgrounds. It's just, you know, very loving. Always wanting to feed you, even though you're, you know, completely full. It's just always kind of showing food. Luca, <laughs> you kidding? I mean, the sharks, honestly, the, the sharks is what I'd rather do, but you don't want to be in the way of Luca. It's just sore. Your back hurts. Your knees hurt. You're tired. Um, you smell worse than when you came into practice. Yeah. Why have you never attempted to take a charge on Luca? I'm, I'm not interested in questions. <laughs> okay.
finds Morgan. He's going to take that three-pointer and have mercy on me. Connor Morgan again with the three-pointer. Here's Jalel four against two. To Luca, sorry to the basket and Luca the big man. They're there to guard him. Quick spin move here by Luca. The reverse for Zaharajevic and he will lay it up and in. Jalal four down low to Luca. He's trying to muscle his way in the big man bazooka on the turnaround for the layup. Jalal four leaning back to the wing. Who qualifies Jalal four open for three? He makes the bird bench. And the three-point miss from the sideline by Trunyan grabs his own rebound ball, is loose, and Phil Jalalpour on the fast break, two-hand lay-in, makes it 58-30. Uh, kid can shoot the pill. Um, he can, he has said, he had the record at UBC in threes in a game, and I was, I was at that game in Saskatchewan, and I don't think he saw the rim. Phil, did you see the rim that day? It was just a straight match. Him. Yeah, he can... The kid can shoot the pill. Yeah, Phil, uh, probably the purest and uh, best shooter I've ever uh, played with, alongside Connor Morgan. And uh, just really, really smart player, uh, point guard. And even though he's not a point guard anymore, really, like he still has that uh, you know, ex excellent like sense of the game, and he can see things. And I love his effort on defense every night. Like he, each day, wants his team to be the best team he can be. Plus, he's someone who's always there for people. He's, you know, I don't know if he has, he, we have a lot of people on this team who are extremely kind and should be caring, but Phil is, Phil's just like a next level above. The thing that impressed me the most about Luke's game is just his unselfishness. Um, he can be a guy who plays 15 minutes in the game and still have an impact on the game from the bench. Um, and, it, and that's a true sign of leadership, I think, and that's why this year we've been so successful on the side of Christmas. I mean, so many things. The energy he brings every day, the, the drivenness and passion uh, passion is about the um, game of basketball, and he always wants to win, and I like that, because I came here to win, and that's what he's all about. It's like a video game, honestly. He just, just automatic score, um, things that I never thought I would see, you know, buckets that I would never think people could get in real life. Um, I've seen Connor do. He's he's literally Mr. Mr. Bucket. So it, it's awesome watching him play. Yeah, but something that sticks out in my mind was in Sask when he hit the um, when he hit the shot going into overtime. That was a crazy one. Uh, Connor's first of all a great teammate. Um, he's also an outstanding shooter. He can get to rim finish and he can be a lockdown defender and shot blocker. Like I've never seen him you know the country and probably. One of the best, uh, one of the best scorers in Canadian basketball history. A hundred percent, I would, I would choose UBC a hundred times over. You'll get treated the way you want to be treated out here, and um, it's going to be very hard in your first two, three, four, maybe even four years, uh, but it'll all pay off in the end. A hundred percent agree. Same, I'll make the exact same choices. No regrets. Yep. Uh, I, like looking back, I have no regrets, and I have dealt with a lot of like different <coughs> adversities here, and it's only made me like a stronger player, a stronger person, and there's gonna be more to come in the next uh, whatever decade of my career. Um, but yeah, I don't, I don't regret anything here. Loved it, and yeah, I will do. I'll choose UBC, obviously. Uh, do you have one word that best describes Phil? Um, in a good way, yeah, like, uh, Tsigan. <laughs> Tsigan, can I go on with this? <laughs> no, yeah. Please do. Yeah, yeah, no, no, no. Thank you, we'll leave it at that.